we're in a spaceship yeah. and we go to a planet made of acid. Mm. Why would we do yeah, that? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a very Eric Griffin thing to think. Just the yeah. water kills the yeah. aliens? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So, and, and we're, this planet is 80% water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you do? You wouldn't say so whoever the science people are yeah. of those aliens. Yeah, fired. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, why would they kill some fired. sort of the alien in the lab code? Uh oh, guys, we need to turn back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're friends that laugh. We're friends that shout. Sometimes we don't know what we're talking about, but that won't stop us. Nothing can stop us. Ooh, yeah. Cause I show you use the love. thinking about this man i see all the clips sometimes i check out the fucking show i look i scrub through it you know you dress too nice dude you dress too nice for a fucking podcast for a what podcast? are you talking about right now i'm looking at both of you like where's my dumb shirt well you know what i mean okay but you're wearing a dumb shirt i, I tell no. you this no, this I'm actually shirt. a fan. I know I'm a fan. Your shirt you're walking around with because you're just doing a podcast and a shirt. You look, guys look like you're going to somebody's prom. This you know what I mean? is uh, what, what I'm wearing. I'm wearing an insecurity because I see this fucking guy on clips oh. dressed like goddamn, uh, who, who, who's the fucking guy? Um, Jared Leto? No, in uh, Any Given Sunday, the fucking football player. That's how he dresses. Willie Beeman? Yeah, Willie Beeman. <laughs> yeah. He dresses like Willie fucking... Willie Beeman. Wh- keep the ladies creaming. Keep that's the ladies creaming. Oh, and all the fellas song. say... Yeah. Beaming. No, but it's like you guys are always wearing some shirt from like so I know Dior, right? But yeah. you guys always have a shirt from something and you're like, "Oh yeah, this is uh such and such. So, you know, home, well, you know, he got a, a store. I love this guy." This you know? shirt's cool. I put I had the jacket in my car. I'm like, "I can't just wear it. I got to put it on cuz this motherfucker is going to come out like Willie Beeman." Oh, I'm sorry I take my job serious. I'm sorry. If you took it serious, you wouldn't interrupt. Ooh, ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Hour. My name is Eric Griffin. This is Brendan Shaw. That's Chris Delia. Welcome to um, another. Is this the? I mean, I don't know if I'd ring, watch a podcast if everyone was just in sweats. <clears throat> I wore sweats on this podcast, and you guys clown me. You and it was back when fucking you and Theo clowned the shit out of me. Theo wore sweats all the time. So were you in a match? You were in a matching though. From Kiff, that's acceptable. No, I don't think so. I don't know. You guys like to wear a lot of like, oh yeah, this guy sent me this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's you guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. More him. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, I bought this. But, dude, the, the fucking... I got the sky on my jacket. So, um, it's got the crown on it, too. Um, oh, but wow. I, yeah, the, I know. I got a the park gar- on got the a bottom park, there. Bro. How lit is that, dude? I'm lit. I realized something. I'm lit, dude. I'm actually lit. You know how they say that? Litty like a titty. Um, but, yeah, anyway, dude. Is that like... The ground on the top bottom. Yeah, right there. yeah. that's what we're saying. It's I like got the park. Col- I, you gotta go. Oh, he's got the sky in his jacket. You look below. You go, oh shit, he's got the ground too. <laughs> they say he's grounded. This should be like a sun. Here. They never say I'm grounded. <laughs> 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 this sun up here yeah. or a plane tattoo. You know what? I could add to it just on my skin. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So dude. stupid. Yeah, so dude. Funny. What's up, man? I got back from. Um, I was in New Orleans, man. I, th- you know, New Orleans. The only guy who sells tickets in New Orleans is Theo, right? Because he's from fucking Theo and maybe Mark Norman, because they're both. Oh yeah, there. he's from there, right? So and um and I go to New Orleans and it was it's been like my one of my toughest sells. You know, I I sold a lot of tickets, but not you know, yeah, boy. That's the and, one uh, market that's tough for you. Yeah, that and last time I went to, for like, what was it? Uh, Fresno. New, New Orleans is but notoriously Orleans is, known for being tough. It is notoriously for, it, known got for being tough. a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the show was fucking awesome, dude. I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. Because I shot my first special in New Orleans. And it was awesome. Aggressive. Comedy Central wanted to do it. I was like, can I pick where it is? They're like, no, you got me in New Orleans. I was like, okay, my career's over. Because they, they, they're going to be all like with fucking with the masks and shit. Yeah, with Mardi Gras. <laughs> in the middle of the shit, you know? With the dick nose, Be- beads. beads, yeah, 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 yeah. Tits. Tits. show me your tits, <laughs> and um, and so, and then and then I went back, and I was like, New Orleans is awesome. I don't know what they're talking about. I went back to do New Orleans. I did two shows where I did my special, and it was horrible. Hurt your feelings. I was like, oh come, on. what the yeah. fuck? I was like, well, I guess I lucked out when I shot my special there, and <laughs> then uh, this time I went, and it was awesome. And I was like, oh okay. I mean, dude, the show was so. They were so. You know what I think the trick was in New Orleans? Do a Sunday show. 
If you do Friday or Saturday, oh, there's not as much going on. Dude, I did it on Sunday. It was fucking awesome. Now New Orleans, the entire city's haunted. We know this, yeah. Man, well, so haven't you ever seen True Blood? You're a fan. Of True Wait, Blood, oh, right? does that take place in New Orleans? Yeah. Um, it's New Orleans. Is you've been, yeah. Yeah. So have you played it? No. So New Orleans, oh, it, have you played it? <clears throat> oh yeah. But Where? Twice. Where? House of Blues. There's oh lot, my God. There's not a lot of venues. That venue, uh, and, th and with that venue is already New Orleans. Every venue, everywhere it is, you go into a House of Blues, it's already New Orleans. And it's in New Orleans, that's insane. <laughs> it's like the Matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're in Inception, you're two dreams deep. And so, <laughs> so New Orleans is, uh, it, it's, I I'm walking around there and like, it's Sunday and people are just, it's just it's it's actually hell. Well, that's why the uh, first forty eight really only films out of there. Oh, really? Yeah, dude, it's it's hell. And every now and then you're walking and you're and you're like, oh, well, that is the inside of someone's anus. Mm. It's either ass or a beignet. Yeah, beignet a and ass together. Ooh, sign me up. I had a beignet there. Oof. Ooh, they're nice. I had to stop. Took one bite. I go, I can't have any more. I'll eat the whole thing. Because you know. Yeah. <laughs> but the th the thing about New Orleans is. Uh, you pushed it to your the, mouth. The dope yeah, thing to yeah, do yeah. there at night, yeah. we're performing so you can't do it, but the dope thing to do at night is have the, like, the best haunted like tours. By far the best haunted tours. Yeah, because a lot of idiots go yeah. to New Orleans. You're in a comic book shirt. Yeah. Oh. So, well, hold on a second. Yeah, but I'm not, I don't think these people are real. You don't think they <laughs> You don't? Uh, I thought you did. Yeah, so they would take you on a Spider Man tour. So this is where Spider Man From New York, swung. that'd be lit. Oh, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which guy? The fucking guy. <laughs> which right? one? The guy from was Uncharted or the on one here? from... It's like the people that go on those uh, tours of Star's homes. Yeah. It's like, what? what is that, by the way? Why is that they still They drive thing? out, they yeah, drive you're by? you're in a bus and they're like, oh, that's where so-and-so lived. But do you think they're just bullshitting? Like, yeah, Brad, that's Brad Pitt. Of course they're bullshitting. Like, it's not like Brad Pitt's going to come out. I used in to live. Robe. Yeah. And he goes, there like, was yeah. Hulk Hogan. One time I was uh, driving and then I pulled up against this van that said Star's Tours, you yeah. know? And then I looked up and I was like, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everybody. Okay, carry on. Stop. Please, 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 yeah. please keep going. Mr. Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> Dude, call back from the other episode. I'm not that mean, but. Uh, I saw Jim Carrey one time, like, get on the. Oh, of course. That's so funny. Get on the. On yeah, what? like, he was there. We were driving around. He was there and he just got on the. It must bus. have been years ago. Oh, yeah, that freaked me out. Yeah. He's just like that. Um, the. Uh, I, I used to live in this community, like gated thing, and and I lived in there. And um, there were famous people that lived there, like very famous. Can I say one? And, and then me. Yeah, it's okay. Ser was it Serena? Serena, Williams, right? uh, uh, Hillary Duff, uh, and J. It used to be J Lo's house and Gwen Stefani's house and shit. And so whenever I drove out, there was always a, a fucking <laughs> van out there, and I'm like, oh, it's just me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Hurt your feelings. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, yeah. oh, it's, oh. <laughs> I, I could do a straight up if I, if things ever went south with stand up and podcasts, I could make money doing a straight up serial killer tour in LA. Yeah, you could. I could go yeah. all the sites, yeah. the Manson in his sites. Porsche, just one. Just one, per one it's person. VIP. It's, it's one VIP. Those, but he's like on the top of one of those double decker buses. <laughs> you know, and people come up and it's like, Hi everybody, this is a British <laughs> shop. Thanks for coming to the tour, you know? <laughs> and everybody's just looking like, why is this? Big dude. <laughs> I was taking my friend's house. This is Eric Griffin's apartment. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can see there's a blueberry still on the stairs there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a call okay, back good, good, four four episodes. Episodes. Yeah. I just locked in my Fisker. I can't wait. To oh, you got it. it. Uh, you got a Fisker? Yeah, I'm getting a Fisker. The car? Nice. I just like, I had to I had to lock in my final, like, uh, what I want. Oh. So I'm getting this. I'm, I'm, I'm going for it. Midlife crisis style. Oh, oh hell yeah, <laughs> yeah so, dude. <laughs> so Tell us what this is. Around. What is midlife crisis Eric Griffin style? Well, it's it's a blue like this blue. Ooh. Woo, 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 woo. Dude, when you Wait. honk a horn. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, I should totally get that. <laughs> woo, oh, woo, my God. Woo. That'd be so sad. <laughs> but like sick. angry. Woo, 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 woo. woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> but like it's blue and it was white interior. Oh, filthy. Okay. And the rims have like white trim. So it matches the white interior. Oh, we got to see this. Is yeah. it the SUV? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I thought you were getting the sports car. Now I'm sad. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Did not. I'm not. Dude, I'm no, not. No, he would not get it. Well, well that's not midlife crisis. That's why I said, what's midlife crisis? Eric Griffiths. Yeah. yeah. The Thank white you. is should... still electric. The white with the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The white with the white is a bit. That, that's. I thought, because if it was a sports car, I was like, yeah, oh, it looks oh, so oh, that's, that's the inside of that house. Those are the rims. 
right there too. Those are the rims, but uh -huh. the blue is more blue. Like that blue up there to the that yeah that blue. This okay. can be dope, dude. But it's, that's the blue with those other yeah, rims. Yeah. When's it come? White interior. Two hundred thirty. I don't know. Yeah. So, I, I guess they take a hot second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they're just locking this in right now. I'm like, all right, yeah. now they got to build them. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we'll see. Oh, I, I've gotten on that road where I'll get allocated a car. I'm like, oh, that'd be dope. And I have to put a down payment, like a small down payment, so it reserves it. Yeah. I spec it out. I mean, with these cars, years go by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years. And yeah. they'll be like, hey, the car's coming. Literally, I just got one last night. The car's coming March 27th. I'm like, oh, shit, I don't need that thing. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. What is it? It's a Lamborghini Urus. You're getting it? S. I already have one. You already have one. one. But this is the newer one, the S one. And I spec'd it out so it'd make the most money when I flip it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. So now, you, but here's the th it's dicey because you're rolling the dice. Hopefully that thing sells right away. Otherwise, you're chilling with that same car. Oh, God. You got to fucking yeah. this guy. My car guy died. I know. Right? So now <laughs> I got to do it. I think about him all the time. No. So, so what are you going to do? <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you this, but I don't want to bring it up because I know it makes you sad. We, yeah. The guy just fucking croaked. Yeah. One of our friends, by yeah. the way. It's very sad. Yeah, it's nothing sad. worse. And so, I was wondering why he wasn't getting back to me. I was like, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you so, hey, man, if you're going to act like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it just goes to show you never know what's going never on Never know, bro. Never know. <laughs> you never know what's so going on So what are you going to do with the car now? Uh, I got a new car guy that used to be business partners with Greg. All right, I, I need to talk him. to that guy. Yeah. yeah, can you hit? Yeah, can you hit? Yeah, me yeah, 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 yeah. I got you guys. Yeah. Cause Cause I'm I stressed sell, out. I, I don't want sell my Jags. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. I don't need seven Ferraris. We yeah. got to do something, man. Go start. Yeah, I mean, no, no, <laughs> you're not right. I don't have seven God. Ferraris. You might. But um, no, I don't want that. No, man. I know. I well, because you're trying to make money off of them. It's not like you're business. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, it's not. Um. Wow, wow, okay. Greg was um, like, cool, order all those cars. See ya. Yeah, Jesus Christ. At least you um, can joke about it now. Yeah, yeah, and not cry. Nick's face is, he's <laughs> Nick's all. I think about him all the time, dude. Well, I cried yesterday. Thinking, really? Yeah, because I had to deal with this car stuff. Let's take a little break, boys, because we all got ladies, and Valentine's Day is coming up. The fake Ooh, holiday means we got to pay some money to <laughs> show our love. You got to. And there's no better place to do it than BlueNow.com. It's online shopping of the best Jewelry in the world. Did Make those something? moments sparkle. You find a perfect piece of jewelry for life special moments. Create the custom engagement ring of her dreams. Their simple online tools let you choose the diamond shape, size, and clarity, as well as the setting style. Blue Niles Bench Jewelers will then handcraft the perfect piece to your specifications. Oh, man. Blue Niles Diamond Price Guarantee allows you to compare a competitor's diamond against one of theirs. Blue Nile can even meet or beat their price. Every order is insured and arrives quickly in a discreet little package, so nobody knows how you're giving away for Valentine's Day. Shipping is free, and right now... You got something, right? I got these uh, gold rose diamond uh, rings from my mother-in-law and my girl, and they loved them. Oh, I'm sure they, they loved them, They wear them every dude. day. That's mm. cool. Yep, be like them. Right now, you can save up to 50% at BlueNile.com. That's BlueNile.com for up to 50% off BlueNile.com. There was a guy that emailed uh, Chris, and he was he wanted to drop you. I just saw it yesterday, but he wanted to drop off a king cake, and he sent a picture of what he was going to send. That he said, said it's a New Orleans delicacy. It looks, looks like Eric's <laughs> blueberry. Yeah, yeah. nice that one. looks <laughs> terrible. So, what, is, what is it, like a, a my, cheesy croissant that's gone bad? My butthole looks like that sometimes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, that would be amazing. Um, what, what the fuck is it, Nick, yeah. exactly? He said, I know it's weird to accept food from people. Yeah. And he spelled accept, E-X-C-E-P-T. Unbelievable. Uh, wow. people, but I am a <laughs> chef, so it makes it a little less weird. LOL, I understand okay. if uh, not, but he needs to buy one while he's in New Orleans. Well, I I mean, he was can, so drunk when he, he wrote so drunk. that. Can, there's no punctuation. Can yeah, you yeah. get those in Naples? Because I'm there next Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday. See, he saw I me pull up my it. thing. He yes. pulled up my thing. I'm going to get one of those in Naples next Thursday, Friday, right, Saturday. Dude. Naples, well, comedy off the hook. And then one night God in Bakersfield, one night in Brea. Thursday. I'm upset. Oh, I'm doing Fight Command with Rogan Saturday for UFC 284 with the original nice. crew. Okay. Brian Callen, Eddie Bravo, Joe Rogan. In Austin? In Austin. Cool. Tomorrow, ah, I'm going to be at the kidding. Bell House. <laughs> guys, tomorrow, it's just one night in New York, Brooklyn. I know it's cold, but just one night. Come see me. I am hilarious. Way, you up one night in the one night? No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to New York. I'm going to be the, uh, at the Bell House. I might do some sets in the city uh, Saturday, and then I'm going to Vegas for the Super Bowl on Sunday. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. Wow. Fisker Super Bowl? <laughs> Damn, yeah, how much but, are we paying? But, Bell House, not enough. Bell House. <laughs> <laughs> Bell House, tomorrow. Get your tickets. AirGriffin.com. Uh, uh, guys, yeah, I'm going to be in New York, too, February 18th. And, you know, 
the first show gone. Second show at the Beacon Theater, um, February eighteenth, and Chicago sold out. Uh, Kansas City, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri, uh, it's sold out. Uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> Springfield's great. Midland, Texas. Austin. Oh, I'll be in Austin, March twenty fifth. First one sold out. Second one is good. Modi <laughs> Theater. Uh, and Minneapolis, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Milwaukee too. Tomorrow, Bell House. No. <laughs> It's not, sold, it's not sold out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, bring your bring your kid to Springfield. That Bass Pro Fishing, they have it's a really? giant aquarium, like better than Long Beach, better than Sea World. There's so much for them to do. Really, there's toy stores March there, 10th? restaurants. I wonder if we can get away with that because Kristen is pregnant. And oh, no, I emailed, I emailed Calvin, got a schedule. He said he's open. <laughs> oh no, Calvin could come, yeah, but uh, maybe I could just bring him because sure I don't know when she could fly. Because you know until. he answers his own emails. Yeah, <laughs> no, it was him. Yeah, he was yeah. back. He was like, I'll look into it, man. I'm kind of busy. But he's just like this. No, I'm, I'm telling you, it's. I wish my kids were there. I was sad my kids oh, weren't really? there. Me and my brother huh. walking through. I was like, this place for okay. kids is nuts. Is this oh, guy cool. a permanent host now? Uh, that's. He was actually the one. I didn't put the names together. I just found it from a different email. He was the one that sent the cake. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, but uh, did he, he come had, to the show? Yeah, right. he had a nice message uh, oh, just nice. in the beginning. Let's listen. His, his debate club is Airbnb hotel, which I feel like we've done fifty times. Oh, okay. and real quick, you know. Oh no, who, I, but I've changed to... my stance on that. Ooh. Really hot take. Remember the dude that like beat? He he said that they beat up a dude. You know, it was like him and his friends. Oh, yeah, it was like all that that long story that was pretty good. Yeah, Where? he was at my show in, uh, the, in San oh, Diego this past weekend. Everybody stay safe? I remember. Huh? Did everybody stay safe? Did he yeah, beat yeah, yeah. anybody up? Where were we in San Diego? sister, too. Where were we in San Diego? At this place called the Grand Comedy Club. Mm, good. Great, great little club, man, in Escondido. How, you've done Springfield, the Blue Room? Yes. You, d I loved it. Yes, yeah, great. Absolutely fucking loved it. I just like the city. I love the city. That hotel's yeah. dope. Yeah, yeah, The guy yeah. who runs it. Really? Yeah. Chris? It, Tell great, me about hotel. Great I hotel. Stay there. I it's the only one in town. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's the only see. night. The yeah. My my guy will fuck town. it up though. He'll be like, "We're twenty minutes out of the city, and yeah. we, this was the good one, and there's nothing around it." That's the that to me. You know what? Just before we get into this, when somebody asks you, ask another comic, and you say like, "Hey, how's uh?" Like you say, "How's mm. Blue Room?" Mm. We don't care about the show. Mm. The show's gonna be the show. Yeah. Sure. But I'm asking you, this yeah. is exactly what we want to talk about. Hey, what's near the hotel? Right, 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 is right. Is there a movie theater? Right. Yeah, yeah. How, you know, it's like what's the, what's <clears throat> going on? Is there a good restaurant? I mean, because <clears throat> it's like yeah. we're 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 in this town. We're, we're working for an hour. Unless the venues, <laughs> unless the venues poorly ran, if you're like, man, that oh, manager's well, yeah, 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 of course, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But Dude, even then, this show we got is, to the yeah. we, we went to Daytona. We were in Daytona, and we showed up on a resort. And I was, and I don't know about you, you might like that shit, but I'm like, I don't, I'm stuck, dude. Am I retired? Did we just retire? Yeah, Is this that. where we, yeah. I was like, where, where are we going to get coffee? I was like, he's like, I was like, I'm going to leave after the show. We're going to drive. And and so we did. Like, we, we, I'm not staying at this fucking resort. No, that would make me feel like I'm on tour. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good to me. I know, I know you That'd love it. That'd make me feel like, like I'm... You'd be taking advantage of that shit. Is there a spa? Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm doing it. I oh, I would tell my manager, am I Steve Martin? I know, I know. My favorite is like, would we ever do like House of Comedy in Minnesota? Because you're staying at the mall. So depressing. Yeah, I've done it. So depressing. Yeah. But Wait, like a, I've done there's that. There's a spa in that thing, and you're just walking around the mall. That mall's insane, dude. Yeah. It has seven floors, and every floor is yeah. the exact same. Yeah. yeah. I've like done a, it for like, because Rachel would want to go, because her mm -hmm. dream is to live in a mall. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Dream yeah. higher, girl. Yeah, she just wants to live in well, a mall. She could do it. There's that hotel there. I yeah, know, that's what I'm saying. She just, you live right in the mall, yeah. and then she just wants to be able to walk and, you know. Yeah. I was a doorman Cinnabon. there for two weeks in 2013. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. A doorman at the hotel in the mall? Uh, no, at um, the comedy uh, House of Comedy. Oh, oh, Comedy. really? I saw oh. I saw Sebastian oh, wow. and Jay Larson. I was only there for two weeks. Oh, and wow. you got fired? Uh, no, I quit, and then I worked <laughs> at Acme. It was just, it was better. Those two uh, comics are great comics to see your first two weeks. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. Sebastian, that was a while ago if he's doing House of Comedy. Yeah, it was, it was 20, like 2013. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, he's doing Jay Larson. How funny is Jay Larson, dude? Yeah. Oh, fucking. All right. Um, what, what Did this guy have something to say? Uh, he, uh, yes. Where'd he go? I particularly want to listen to it if it is nice to me. <laughs> God. It, it is nice to Chris. Okay. <laughs> Chris, Eric, um, it's Rob here. Um, Chris, I uh, went and saw you on Sunday oh. night. Um, I just want to say I, I almost didn't go. Uh, I had a death in the family. Oh, but no. I'm so glad I went because it was literally like the funniest. I was crying the entire time. Oh. Um, so glad I went. So thank you for that. Um, but I have a question. Thank uh, you. So if you go visit friends from out of town, 
do you stay in an Airbnb in a hotel or do you stay with them? I'll never stay with them. Um, you know, at their house. No, uh, never. Yeah. yeah. I think never. But first of all, thank you. That I'm so sorry to hear about the death in your family, but uh, I'm glad I'm glad you came in. I'm glad you had a good time. Um, I was just talking about how good that show, the, how fun that show was. Yep. It's cool he was there. there. I wish I met you, bro. Um, but I I, I don't. Uh, well, yeah, don't. St I don't want to stay with the person. No, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I also don't want to stay in an Airbnb though. I'm not an Airbnb guy. Me either. Thank I'm, you. I'm, a, I'm a hotel guy. I want, I want. This is me. Can you set up yeah, yeah, seven yeah. towels, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm on, I'm on that train. But now. but you weren't on I that know. train. I know. So I just, tell us I, what changed. I, yeah. What? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know. I know. This so what's year, up? You, this year, Mr. Hotel. Because uh, I used to get uh, PTSD from the hotels because in fighting it was so stressful. Okay. So I started doing Airbnbs. Those Airbnbs are full of shit. Like they post dope pictures and you book oh, this yeah, dope yeah, Airbnb. Yeah, yeah. The cleaning fees all crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the ho the bed sheets would suck. Or the pillow would suck. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm over this, man. Yeah. I'm over this. But what, how how long did it take you to figure this out? Yeah. We've been telling you this. You go one time. Five years. I've probably been Airbnb for five years. So every time you go, you're like, ah, and you just <laughs> no, no, it's hit or miss is the problem. <clears throat> oh, okay, We're a hotel. Yeah. It's hit every time. It's pretty hit. Yeah. It's pretty hit. If you look at the star rating, it's hit. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, bro. I, no, I, I, I know. I'm on it now. I'm I thought you were it. crazy. That's no. You know what? I got to be honest. I'm angry with you. It took you five years. Yeah. That's ridiculous. But, yeah. Well, you do too, but I, I travel with a big crew, yeah, so the hotel was expensive, so expensive. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saving well, on Airbnb. Kind of no. crew, man. Well, yeah. uh, Dave, shout out to David Lucas. He's been with me for over two years now. He's headlined on his own. Oh, yeah. cool. He hit me up today. I was like, hey, man, I can't make Naples. I was like, that's the third week I'm going to make. He's like, because wow. I sold out San Jose last week one night. He did? Yeah, he's yeah. like, he, he's been doing one nights and selling them out. Oh, that's he's like, dude, awesome, he's like, bro. let me know what I can do. I'm like, hold up. Don't apologize. This is how yeah. it should work, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, great. Like, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You, your yeah. thick ass just flew out of the nest. Yeah. Go yeah. make money. Give me 10%. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's so cool. And Nochi's starting to do his own shit, too. I fucking love that. That's the goal, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's tough. It's bittersweet, dude, because you like going in the road with those Oh, guys we had so shit. much fun, man. I'm bummed yeah. out. Yeah. Bummed yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Because first but, it was Chappelle, and then Chappelle moved on mm -hmm, headline. Mm -hmm. Now David Lucas, he mm -hmm, moved on headlining. Mm -hmm. So. The, um, but getting back to this. You know what? It's weird because no matter how big or fancy the person's house is, mm -hmm. it's weird. It's, it's just it's on someone else's house. No, because here's the thing: like you, you, you're at somebody's house, and let's say they have, they're, they're, they got a really nice house, mm -hmm. and so you, this room you're in, you're like, this is nice. But the issue is, once you leave that room, you're in someone's uh, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you like, where do you go? You don't yeah, know. Where to, you know. I yeah. think I, just, I'm a hotel yeah, guy. Yeah. I want a hotel. Yeah. With a nice restaurant in this bitch, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm, I want to be able to call room service. Right. I want to be go down. It's right. gotta be coffee, yeah, you know, and not just some bullshit coffee. I need to yeah, know I need that there's like coffee, coffee, yes. you nice. know what I mean, in the, in the lobby or Damn, it's you're like getting me excited or a bro. nice yeah. walk, you know. That's why I love Austin. Austin's yeah. great. Yeah. You stay down there yeah. by Six Street. Yeah, oh, there's those so hotels, much to walk. The Westin or any one of those. The River Walk, like, all that shit. You give me, give me that, man. I just. Ugh, staying at somebody's house, and even I don't even like staying at family's house, and I don't like staying people staying. I don't necessarily like people. Rachel hates when people want to stay with us. Oh, I don't mind God. that. It gets you out of your routine. She's got big family, so like her cousins are always coming into town. Mm. Like, oh, no, like, no, no. Hey, no. can we stay with yeah, you guys? Yeah. Well, Only a select a few can stay. I don't mind that. I like it, actually. But not, I don't want to stay at someone else's. Yeah, it's I, I mean, it's just uncomfortable. Yeah. It's kind of nice when they stay with you, no? Yeah, yeah I like it. People stay up late with you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my wife goes to bed early sometimes, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've got to watch The Last of Us on my own. I start crying. You just need a That last episode. I didn't see it. <laughs> Only saw the pilot it. was doing it for the joke. Oh wow! Bro, you're a fucking you're a fraud. monster. You're, yeah, a fraud. you're a fraud. Yeah. Why am I a fraud? It yeah. was a joke, dude. That's not the sky. Okay, well, you're a fraud. Other show. I've seen the first episode. I watched it without my wife because she went to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see the gay. Are you gonna, episode? Is that going to come? I to didn't this? see the gay episode, but I love that dude. Oh shit! <laughs> Chrisley.com. The last episode. It was great. <laughs> the, no, not not the gay one. The one after. Yeah, that was good too. It was all right. It's just well, I mean, it's gonna Tough be to like, follow up. It's gonna be like that. Yeah. It's just, if you had, did you, didn't you ever watch Walking Dead? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, the ground is that extra spring? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! He's telling you guys to be quiet instead. It's a silent hug. Yeah. It is. It's a hug. <laughs> um. Your mom. Your, 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 do you want to know the ending of fucking? The last one? Any M. Night Shyamalan movie? Because you haven't seen that either? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to go see that cabin in the wood, knock at the cabins, whatever. 
I'm gonna go no. see that shit. Uh, no, I jumped off his train a bad? long time ago. I, I just it, it has to be bad. I know. I, here's the thing it has about to be bad. you know why it has to be bad. I know. I know. I know. You know why it has to be bad because it's like okay, so so this a gay couple I, is in the woods. I'm out with their with their adopted. Is that what it's about? <laughs> I don't even really know what it's about, honestly. It just I saw it from the trailer. I was like, I can't oh, okay. do it. So here's what I here's what's cool about uh, M Night Shyamalan movies are either very good or very very bad. There's no and, middle ground. And but here's the deal though, they're always worth watching to me. I I, 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 I don't I, think so. Okay. Three. He's got three good movies, and we're done. Okay. Well, then he, then Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, and The Village. Yeah, I forget. I have to watch that. Oh, I know he has more than that though. Six cents. Well, he has some other big no, bangers. No, no, no. Well, he has a bunch of he has movies. A bunch of movies. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I know, but he also made Airbender. <laughs> I turned that on the other day. I was like, okay. I can't he also made like the the water one. That oh, I didn't see that. That's one. the only one I didn't see. Oh, yeah. they get old when they stay near the water. I don't know. Uh, no. Oh, he, that's the that's the another terrible no, one. That's that was old. so bad. Old, that, old right? Oh, yeah, that old. was very bad. Oh, old. My old. Yeah, God. It, that was so bad. Old, yeah. Uh, they, they like get trapped in a certain part of the yeah, beach and they just yeah. get really old. Really bad. Really bad. And, but it's always like you know you wait. But the thing about his, you're waiting for the twist. That's that's such a. Oh, split oh, was split. lit. Split, split was, was lit. awesome. Split was awesome. Split was, split was no, lit. No, split was great. Was okay. I heard glass sucked. That's the fourth. Oh, one. devil's no, fucking great. Devil's not good. No, in the elevator. He just. I think he just produced that. By the way, it's not. It's devil's not good. The visit sucked. Oh, you know what's good is that Servant show. I love Servant. Yeah, but I heard episode, uh, the new season is not so great, but I didn't see it yet. Yeah, because she's like... I know. Weird. Like, I know. She's you gotten know, weird. Here's the thing about she's doing dope. the vids that's bad. Um, here's the thing about the so signs bad. people loved. But here's Six the thing, cents. But here's the thing about... Signs. Doing, Ridiculous. I know. I agree. So, here's the thing about those movies, though. Once you make a movie with a twist ending, great. You make another movie with a twist ending, then you're twist ending guy. You're twist And then guy. everyone's waiting for the fucking yep. third one. Oh, what's a twist? It, it's a fucking bullshit thing. No, but it's, sometimes it's not even, that's not even, a, like, signs? Mm -hmm. Why would, this is what signs is. We're in a spaceship, yeah. and we go to a planet made of acid. Mm. Why would we do yeah, that? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, that's a very Eric Griffin thing to think. But yeah. Why would we yeah, do yeah, that? Yeah. No, if water Don't kills hit the out? fucking table. Oh, sorry. Yes, <laughs> dude. If wa water kills these things? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal.com. What? Just the water kills the yeah. aliens? Yeah. Yeah. So and, and we're this planet is eighty percent water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> why would you do you wouldn't say get... whoever the science people are yeah. of those aliens? Yeah. Fired. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, why would they kill They're some fired. sort of the suit? alien in the lab code? Uh oh guys, we need to turn back. <laughs> yeah. Dude, dude, you know it's the same I thing. I made a big mistake. Look <laughs> as you're getting closer. <laughs> oh no. It's the same thing of Independence Day. Same thing in Independence How did Day. They die? I like no, in Independence Day, there should have been a meeting with the the, the 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 aliens, and it's like the IT guys, and the guy should have been like, "Hey, um, so there's no, no antivirus." No, they're still Indian. The alien IT guys are still Indian aliens. It's like there's no <laughs> <They're> Indian aliens. <laughs> 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 well, it's real sorry. <laughs> like this, I don't understand. So there was no antivirus. Like this advanced alien race, yeah, they they, they just can yeah. upload a virus. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, you got you got fucking. That's the kind of shit I can't stand. It's got to make sense. I know. All right. Well, did the aliens put that, that balloon over Montana? Everything's they gone. took it down. Yeah. Oh shit! It was fucking King of the Sting stuff. He said it made him sad. It makes me sad. I got I, I I can see the fucking past. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I got Theo looking at me, and I have to be sad because he betrayed us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be he on the asked, blogs. <laughs> he asked me to come in so he could leave, and we realize that now. <laughs> this was his whole plan. All right. Uh, they could be brothers. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. There's a sitcom. <laughs> um, all right. What's up with this dude? What's up, Chris? What's up, Brandon? What's up, Eric? Nice. Production gang was good. I'm out here in the Porsche. I'm drinking the prerequisite to the four shots over ice. I got the ice Americana. Mm. Uh, okay. Okay. Good. Good. I like that. I got a, deb a debate club for you guys. Okay. I just came across this video. Uh, Stephen A. Smith, Jay Williams. They got in a heated Ooh. debate. Did you see this? Yeah, it was heated. I don't know who's in the right because it's it's a difficult topic. They're talking about Kyrie. Kyrie's a Kyrie's the guy. Kyrie they won teams. them in L.A. Yeah. He said he's going to Texas. So who do you think's in the right, dude? Is is Stephen A being kind of a jack butt? <laughs> Don't or say is jack Jay butt. Williams just being a little bit soft? Jack butt, like we're on Let ABC. me know, guys. Yeah. What what the fuck are they mad at? 
What, what are they talking well, about? Yeah. Well, first of all, yeah, it, this is out of context. Yeah, if you don't no, watch is, sports, you wouldn't know. Is that know. that nine-foot tall woman? No. 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 So <laughs> much, she's really true. little. She, she used to be married to Jalen Rose. You know who I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, my, uh, <laughs> no, my, my, issue with, my issue with this is like I have a, actually an issue with how Jay Williams is acting. Okay, well, tell me because right because from from an outsider that yeah. looks about yes. like, from an outsider, Stephen A. guy Stephen uh-huh. A. Smith don't say looks that. like uh, he's wrong. That from an outsider it looks no, like he's being too thing. much. That's I know what I'm saying. So, wait, wait, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. It's I don't out know. of context. Like it's like I I can relate to him Who? because if we're, Stephen A. Okay. Because if we're talking and mm-hmm. you're being passionate, and you talk like this yeah, all yeah, the yeah. time, and then you know I am like this. Yeah. Then it's like fuck you if you're gonna be like, why are you getting all. It's like, is that is, what happened? Yeah, because it's like for him to say that to him is like ridiculous. He's like, he's why like are you getting this, all personal? This he's guy, like, he's like this all the time. He's animated. There, there, it's a sports entertainment show. Yeah. He's the most entertaining. He's the most entertaining. He's being entertaining. He's talking. So when he's talking about Kyrie Irving, I agree with Stephen A. Smith about like I think he's been very fair with him. You know, Kyrie Irving is the one that like he 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 just had the anti-Semitic thing happen. Oh right, that right? was him. Okay, he, he didn't want to get vaccinated. Right, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. He, he, uh, he thought the he, Earth was flat. Was yeah, that that guy? Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah okay. So he has a litany of things where he looks ridiculous. Right. And so Stephen A's talking about that because the guy's getting forty million dollars a year. He's like, yo, man, you, and, and he's missed thirty percent of. The games were in in, in 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 Brooklyn, and he gets paid the max deal. Okay, so oh, my, because of the so they're yeah. talking about like now he asks wow. for a trade, and Jay Williams is trying to like as an ex player, I think he's trying to take be the advocate for Kyrie Irving. Yeah, mm-hmm. and to me, it's just like no, that's not the way to do it. I I, I, I find the way they're talking about it with each other, I, I, I the, the tone that Jay Williams has taken is is like it's. He is gaslighting him, and then it went it's personal. Con- it's kind then of it went sending. personal. Yeah, it's kind he's of like, you don't sending. have you don't have it's the like, inside interest. He's like, me? Yeah. He's like, out of all people, well, he's like, you want me to do this? I'm like, do it. Yeah, but I don't know. Do it. I feel like whatever. I don't think you'll see him. He may not oh, be on the show again. Oh no, he's gonna be working at Rick Brunson's house of comedy. <laughs> he's like, gonna be on the double decker tour bus, and this is Stephen A. Smith's <laughs> house. <laughs> No, he'll be fine because he's, he's doing a, he does a lot of shows. Or he, he might invite him back because it made fucking no. no St- I don't know. No. Steve okay. Smith don't fuck well, don't around. Know. But so, just so you know, yeah. Kyrie Irving, even though the anti-Semitic shit, yeah. the vaccine stuff, which mm-hmm. I don't think he should have been pen- penalized for mm-hmm. or got the smoke for. That's because the other stuff. Republican, but yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I mean, you're whatever. far right, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but well, two, <laughs> truth's coming out now, right? Uh, my heart's good. <laughs> anyways, EQ. Yeah, I, and anyway, I survived. Had three times. Anyways, but he, uh, uh, Kyrie Irving's. Ridiculously good at basketball, right, right. like top five. It's the only reason why people put up with this. Oh, course, if he was one yeah, percent yeah. worse at basketball, he he's out. Mm-hmm. That he's was so good. That yeah. was bad Keep TV to me. Why? That was bad. Oh, we're TV. talking about it. when will we ever talk about first I take on it? But it's still it was bad TV. It's not a good look. And then and then for them to come back, if he brings him back on again, they're gonna have to somehow yeah, address, yeah, yeah, yeah. make it right, make it right. But so, for, what was the thing that made the other guy oh, upset? Because well, they're always talking. They're always talking about when Stephen A. Smith talks about Kyrie Irving. Mm-hmm. He's very much like this. You know, this, he goes at him. Yeah, but so, he also praises him too. He's like, okay. he's a talent. He should make fifty million dollars a year. But I wouldn't give him a long contract because he's not reliable. Right. Which is true. Which is yeah, fine. Sure. How he talks about him, I believe, is true. But he is hard on him. Right? Here's my problem. And, and the other guy is always like in you know trying to like defend him. Like like this thing about the anti-Semitic thing. Jay Williams' point was like, you know, we're getting on Kyrie Irving for tweeting that, but we don't get on Jeff Bezos for not taking the video off Amazon. Yeah. Well, that's Jeff good. Jeff Bezos that's doesn't play sports. No, but no, that's no, no, fair, no. But it's though. Like, but no, still... but the other side of that is like you know. No, I think that's right. No, no, I. I, I totally get that, but two like, wrongs don't make a right. What I'm saying is, no one cares because if you, you know, you're writing the checks, like Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Oh, right, right, <laughs> right. He's like, yeah, I'm not gonna take that down. What are we gonna be like? We're gonna cancel Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Like, can't no. do shit. Right. <laughs> my, my, my only thing with Stephen A. Smith and First Take is they give these hot takes and they def- they go at Kyrie. Like, to be honest, Stephen A. Smith they shit all over Kyrie forever, right? And then Dana White slaps his wife, and they get on there and defend him. They did. They went. He, he, Stephen Smith goes. Well, I, I know Dana personally, and you know he's a good guy. It's like, well, where was this energy with the basketball players that fuck up? We want to hmm. kick him off the island. That's kind of. But because there's well, there's that, a, a an interest. A, that's a stretch, man. I, he like I, I said, disagree. I feel like he's very fair to Kyrie Irving. He he praises him all the time. And, and as a matter of fact, he was very much on his side about like all these stipulations he had to do after this video thing. He thought it was unfair. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I mean, he said it. I thought that was. 
was unfair. They shouldn't have done that. He's praising him now. He's like he was like you know he made a good. He he's been playing well. I mean I, I don't agree with that. What how you're how you're presenting that. You know, it's oh, like, I, I think C.J. Smith goes hard on the paint on some guys. Yeah, sure. of course, of course, a lot of people do. But what I'm saying is, like, again, Dana White in this situation is like Jeff Bezos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he's not. He, in, he, in, he, in the sense that he's the boss of his company. He's not though. What do you mean because they're shareholders? Ario Manuel's the boss of it. Ario Manuel owns the UFC. Well, Dana then, is the then face he's of the it. one that you should be getting on. Right. Ario Manuel. This is exactly my point. No, but two wrongs don't make a right. No, my, no, my no, point I'm is get on that but Ario guy not because his, he's not. You guys are off on this. That show. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. That's not a political show. It's a sports show. Dana White is involved in sports. Ario Manuel's not. No, no, no. He, no one's a businessman. No. One is the face of the sport. Right. The, no. The point is this: if they're getting on Dana White and they're wondering why he hasn't been punished, the person that should be punishing him is the owner of the company. Yeah. So then I'm you just talk about the owner of the company. You don't talk yeah. about the individual who no, did. No, I'm not. I'm not, in the same way that they talked about Kyrie Irving, who tweeted out an anti-Semitic movie. They got on him about that. Yeah. And now the other guy is saying, well, how come we didn't get on Jeff yes. Bezos? And the reason why they didn't get on Jeff Bezos is because no one can hold him accountable. That's the thing. It's it, they, they, uh, they, Cancel culture only comes for you if they think that something can happen about it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They they know. they. That's why they kind of like they stop coming for people after a while. They're yeah, like, well, oh, it's I'm not going to And this is why like the thing with Dana White, they, he handled it the way. He's mm -hmm. like, yeah, well, it's basically like it's, it's very arrogant. Issue. It's like, look, I'm the boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's going to do any good to – but I'm, what I'm saying is get on him all you want. But if you're saying he's not in charge – Whoever's in charge, they made that choice that, ah, you're good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're okay. good. Don't worry. Right. In the same way that Bezos probably didn't, he heard, somebody probably came to him, hey, there's this movie we have on. He was like, ah. Oh, dude, he was in outer space. Yeah, he, yeah, he probably doesn't know. He's just like this. He don't care. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh, 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 yeah, so, <laughs> but I'm right. And nobody's going to be like, you know, what, what are you going to do? So uh, that's what I'm saying about that. It's like, you know. Well, yeah, it's like Bill, it's like, uh, Bill Gates when they're like, that report goes, hey, you went to uh, Jeff Epstein's Island 38 times? He goes, yeah. Do you have anything to say about it? He goes, I don't know what to say about it. But you're not. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah, that's real. <laughs> it's like, he's like, I'm Bill Gates. Like, yeah, I was there. Fuck it. What do you want me to do? What are you going to do? I'm a billionaire. What are you going to do, bitch? And then everyone's like, okay, next question. He's like, yeah, next. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Next question. Dude, imagine if he did that. <laughs> you enjoyed Microsoft? Well, you're, you're, next you're hearing, though, that like he's like, whatever. You know, why wouldn't he be like freaky deaky? You know what I mean? Bill Gates, look at him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, they said his parties when when he first made money, because you know he's a nerd growing up. Yeah. So got chicks. They, his party's epic. Oh, we we'll just oh, walk around this mansion man. butt naked, a bunch of nerds like, <laughs> oh, wow, tits. dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, like, again, I, you know, if we're saying that everyone that went to the Epstein Island had to know. Is that is that the contention they were saying that we're going? No, that's ridiculous. Some people go and they don't know. Some people go. Some people just go and they're like, yeah, "Oh, sure, dude." The people who tag along, they're like, "What?" <laughs> they bring normal people too that aren't the fucking blood suckers. You don't think? Yeah, the normal people are called the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't just show up to Epstein's Island with your boy because he wanted to check it out. Really? I don't no. know. Well, what the fuck do but I know? No. I don't know. You think you just bring your buddy from high school who's going to hang out with Bill Clinton? Oh, you're saying, yeah, because it's too high profile. Yeah, okay, I see bro. what you're saying. I see. But then we're trying to get weird. Profile, that's why I guess people would go. Right. I don't know. It's so an you, island. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So you think it was it's basic, it's basically like, it's, you're saying it's basically like the fucking eyes wide shut. You get invited yeah. Yeah. with the dick yeah. noses. And you know you're there and no Tom Cruise is sneaking in. 100%. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, okay. and that's why they killed him. Yeah, yeah, correct. There you go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, because like, if you, because if you logically think about it, you just yeah, go yeah, like, yeah. so you went thirty times. It's one thing to go once, and you're like, you know, I didn't know what. We right, were. thirty <laughs> times. Well, of course, yeah. <laughs> you, right, I'll, course, give, yeah. I'll give you twice. Like, yeah, that first time was crazy. So yeah, I figured, second, right. it can't be like the no, second time. No, the second time is when you were like, ooh, something might be going on here. I'm not going again. Mm. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I tell you what, man, I went 37 times. It's cool. That 38, I it saw enough. It makes me feel icky now. I'm yeah. just like, okay, yeah, sorry, Bill. So, but there, but he's just <laughs> doing business as usual. Xboxes are coming out and shit. Oh and, yeah, uh, like, you went there 38 times. Like, yeah, yeah, it was fun. Next question. Wow. Mm -hmm. I always used to think I used to have a, I used to have a joke about this. It's like that's like like when, like when Tiger Woods stuff happened. Mm -hmm. I I always I used to think that he should have just had a press press conference and been like, um. 
Yeah, so I'm the you know richest golfer mm. in the world. Mm. Um, I've revolutionized the game of mm. golf. I'm married to a beautiful supermodel, and that's entirely not enough pussy for me. Question. Question. You know what I mean? Uh, shit, just be man. real. Yeah. It. He should have done that. Like, he should have just been questions, you know? Yeah. Then people would have been like, uh, okay. Are there um, any other dumbasses in the room you think I just drive one Bentley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't Next know. question. Because yeah. it's just like, it was just so like, it just, you know, it's... It, I mean, you know the story with Tiger Woods, when right? When you were a nerd like that, and then all of a sudden you're, but, but you, you know, know I mean? you know the story with Tiger Woods is he was flying the straight, like he was flying straight for a while, even at the height of his fame, and they got in with Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, in Vegas. He's going to Vegas all the time. They're like, young man, come here, dude. Tiger and they Woods said it got weird. If Tiger Woods was like, yeah, yeah. So what do you think about this? So what do you think about that? So like, so you know, like you guys, when you guys, um, you know how like you masturbate to women online and all that stuff and you'll see a hot girl and it's, it's like yeah i fucked them <laughs> next question <laughs> next question about golf <laughs> no, it's just you want to like, talk you know, golf i'm just saying so it's like when you think about like okay whatever our minds think that like what would you do if you were on the top five richest person in the world okay like you're jeff bezos you know, he's like, he's got the best trainers now. He's, yeah, yeah, he's going yeah. to space. And yeah. still has a crooked eye. I mean, I'm just saying, like, the dude is like, you think to yourself, you know, it's like, damn, power corrupts. Like, what's he doing? You know, he got divorced. Mm -hmm. Bill Gates got divorced. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, they did. If the richest <laughs> man in the world can't keep a chick happy. <laughs> Yeah. Well. well, he can, but <laughs> yeah, you can but by divorcing. But he wants to keep thirty of them happy. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how he does that. I guess even with rich, you can't. I, I just or or Bill Gates or I, no Jeff Bezos because he did it with his girl, right? And they, you know, at the time, you know, he's not a handsome dude, so they're struggling. Yeah. And then one morning, they're like, "You're worth six billion. Woke up, was like, "Yeah, I need a divorce." That's what happened. Yeah. He was like, "Oh, get out." Yeah. Well, and she was like, "You know, I'm going to take thirty billion." He's like, oh, "I don't give a fuck." Go ahead. How 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 much money do you have when you're still in the top ten richest person after you give somebody half of your money? And she became the first of all, she who, became the richest female ever after the, they got divorced. Here's the thing: it's Whoa. like, what does it matter to him at that point? He he does fuck. That's what I don't get. He'll about. never spend all that. I know. Money. That's it what I don't get. Matter. It doesn't even matter, right? He has yeah. so much money. Uh, he goes. She's like, "You give me half." Okay. Yeah. He just went. Cat. Here you go. You know know I mean? Do you take cash out? Yeah, yeah. It's different now because they keep going after Leo now. They, they, every day there's Well, because he got a new girl. Really? You see, she, every day. He got a new girl. She's 19. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, wait, oh, so no, I don't know about this. I only he, know about he, he Bella girl, Hadid pretty, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, and it's funny because online they're like, can you believe Leo would do, do this and blah, 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 And all the dudes, are, you see the girl like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's hot? Yeah. And how, but how is no. Leo? How is, <laughs> yeah. No, no. No, she looks like Lizzo. No, hey, hey, how old is Leo, Nick? He's 45. Uh, 50, I think. No, he's not 50. He's about to be. Hold on. You guys sit and tell me a 50-year-old really? yeah. loves an attractive young girl? This is oh, insane. Oh, he's that old? Yeah, man. Leo's, oh, I uh, thought he was like my age. Dude, he's been going for a while now, if you think about it. Since Basketball Diaries? Here's the weird thing, though. I don't think What's it's his. What's Gilbert Grape? I don't think it's his girlfriend. I mean, no, it's his girl. God being, damn. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, that is Eric's vibe. Thank God me and Leo don't have the same time. But, but hold <laughs> I don't on, have to compete with that. So 50 and with 19. 48. So, yeah. So, but here's the, here's the thing, though. Like, so I'm 42, and, like, I have a three-year-old, and I'm having another baby, and he doesn't have any kids, right? No, no. That, that we know of. Right. But, like, uh, at a certain point, right, like, don't you want to – I don't know. I mean, maybe not everybody wants to settle down, but, like, it, it, that's so important to me. Like He's getting there. You, me. you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get to a certain point where you just I guess like, you were older, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, oh, yeah. what, you know. I was but, like but, in my early 40s, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. it's time to you – Right. Yeah, you want to die alone. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, have yeah, a partner. Yeah. But it's but not I mean, even about dying alone. It's like – Well, how, what must he be thinking? Because it's like, <laughs> this is the thing now. He's thinking about fucking – no, but I mean, at this point, like, yeah. you know, we live in a society that's different now. So there's just a lot of this, like, you know, I just don't understand, like, so, that, you know, at what point do, at what point are we saying, 
that girl who is 19 or any girl in her 20s who is like, I want to be with Leonardo DiCaprio. Now it's like, we're, you know, we're saying that they can't handle it. Yeah, what do you mean? Like, it's like, so then raise the age of consent to 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah if you yeah, have yeah, a problem yeah. with right, it. Right, right. Yeah, there's a reason yeah. why they, they made the, the law that. Yeah. Like, if you have a problem with it. No, no, but I'm saying it's like there's like a, there's a thing there. There's something there. There's what do you something mean? there that like what I'm saying is like. Why it triggers people? Yes, yeah, it's, it's triggering. And then you go, okay. You're like, all right. So now I wonder, wonder, wonder when, when is it going to get to him. I wonder if it's He's untouchable. He, you ever no, see? I don't know, man. I disagree. He's untouchable. I think it's 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 too much now. It's like every oh, every other week they're coming at him and they keep coming at him. And it's going to be a certain point where it's going to like be a thing. Yeah, when he's sixty, <laughs> he has ten. He has twelve more well, years. He's sixty and he's fucking <laughs> watching with his nineteen year old. Yeah, but it's like this uh, came out an hour ago, actually. Yeah. He's saying he's not dating her. He's all, how dare you? What is what I'm saying? Though? She's 20. Anytime he takes, pictures, anytime <laughs> yeah. he takes right. pictures near a chick, it's like, this is the thing. Right. He probably hooked up with her, and then she went out. Her press, whatever, came out said they're dating. He's like, nah. She oh, has, he's like Pete. He's like, nah, he's she like, has freckles. He's like Pete Davidson at this point now. What do you well, mean? the thing about him oh, is. Oh, anyone associated with him? Yeah. You, go you, down, if obviously, if because that'll with, be. The thing, no, up, up, up. Well, don't pass the picture, of course. <laughs> the The thing about him, him is he, Pete is famous and he was famous before he started dating women, but Pete got famous because of dating. Yeah. From Kim, yeah. Kate, oh, it's like a thing now. But Leonardo DiCaprio is famous because of acting. Yeah. So it's a little oh, different. Oh, he's one of the greatest actors of a generation. Br Brennan, this is not, we know, dude, I'm saying. He comes from a different era, though. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. No, no, but Pete right now is like if you want to, like I want to date him. <laughs> so you'd sell more tickets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd suck Pete off. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what? Saying, so first of all, he's saying Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Pete. Yeah. No, no, Pete Davidson. Oh, okay. I'm saying Pete Davidson. It's like you want to date Pete Davidson now because you're it just people are going to talk about it. Like, oh. People, we're going to go to a game. You know what I mean? We're yeah. going to be at the Knicks game in the front row. <laughs> you're going to be like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, be it's like, Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, do a yeah. PDA. <laughs> I thought that, that was Same him. Same body. I thought that was him. What up, Golden Hour? It's your boy, Eric Golden from Kilgore, Texas, and I've got a debate club for you. When you get out of the shower, when you finish getting that thick body dried off, oh, yeah. you take and you hang that towel up, Yeah. That how many cool. times are you reusing that towel? Me, I like to get at least two out of it. Two. Uh, I feel Three. like Brendan, you're a one and done, throw it on the floor. Uh, I feel like Eric, probably two times. Uh, now Chris, no towel, he gets in front of the mirror and looks at himself while he air dries off. Feel like that's what happens. That's anyway, cool. Anyway, guys, let me know that. what you that's think. Too cold. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz, a woo, 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 and don't push me, but keep pushing me. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you know hold, what? This is so funny video. that he brought this up because uh, Rachel, yeah, she thinks she uses a towel once and then it's dirty to her. Clean. And I don't get it because I'm like, you're clean. You've cleaned yourself. And you're just drying your clean body off. Fresh water off. It's, yeah, yeah. That's all that yeah. this is. But she thinks is it's dirty. I, I always piss her off. I use her towel. I, say, well, I don't give. Is this fuck. your towel? I got it. Oh, I, yeah. I, I I use the towel till my girl switches it out. It might yeah. be two I do weeks old. Yeah. I do two or three. I don't, I don't, don't care. Two or three. Unless there's a streak out or something, you know, that happens from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> right, two or three. And I told. Actually, I said, I bitch. I told not, you. This means you're not no white. Towels. <laughs> Make sure they're brown or black. Right? Dude, if you come no out of your shower and there's a shit stain, sometimes you didn't is, wow. the, is the water even on? Yeah. He just stands in there. <laughs> sometimes it's tough, bro. Yeah. You get that dookie stain like, well, well this I'm towel's at a, ruined. I'm at an age where like I sit, I'm shitting, mm -hmm. and then I know that this is a shower shit. You know when it's a shower shit. Is that shit. messy? You know, when it's, you know what I mean? I mean, that, how often is that happening? I mean. <laughs> Once a week for him. Nah, for me, it's happened a f like a handful of times in my life. Yeah. What? That's ridiculous. You're just eating better. But now, you know, now I'm using my green stuff. Now how I'm long is Eric going to have that like, Fisker for his shits in it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Legit concern. What? I don't, I don't know. I you mean, that's know. a great question. You never know what you're eating. You yeah. know what I mean? That you just like, next thing you know, you're like, ooh, I got to go. I mean, I'm at a point where like I've had to. I've had to pee in the street many times. Mm -hmm. Love doing it. Yeah. So I, this is how you do it, though. You had to. You have to pull over. Mm -hmm. You go around to the passenger side. You open, open the, the passenger door, door yeah. and you just. That's how you pee. I yeah. just drive, and what I do is I lower the window and I, I put my <laughs> dick out <laughs> and I let it out and I drive, and it. Uh, you know, it's splashes. It's kind of. It gets the cars behind me, but. <laughs> 
Yeah. Just, you're so stupid. <laughs> you know, you gotta pee. <laughs> What's this thing? If anyone's dick was that big, <laughs> oh, there are. It would be there'd be deaths. <laughs> you know what I mean? It would, chicks. Yeah, the chicks yeah, yeah, would yeah, just yeah, be yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I thought this was a bit of a reach, but people said this was Chin and Nick in the wild okay. from our boxing match. No, I swear to God, if you don't fuck off, I'm gonna knock you out. No, I think I'm overalls. Oh, well, you're overalls, bro. Yeah, that, that other guy's very Chin energy. Oh, <laughs> oh, stay up there and kick him in the face. How did he not fall down? Fucking kill him, don't you know? Is this a video game? <laughs> oh, the other guy can fight. The guy in orange, orange? knows how to fight. fight. Yeah. How do you know? Uh, just his stance <laughs> off the bat. This guy's naked. And the the Irish rednecks in overalls. <laughs> his overalls came off. I <laughs> know. Such a what kind of dumb fight is this? You let somebody get dressed? How yeah. bad is the guy in overalls at fighting? Though? He's wasted. If you, you'll see him when he swings. <sighs> Why are you waiting this long? This no, fuck you. No, fuck you. I'm gonna hit you now. <laughs> the guy in the car, you know? The guy in the truck. I'm Who gonna hit you now. <laughs> say he might have AIDS? Don't hit him in the mouth. Yeah, might I'm have gonna, AIDS. I actually shit my pants. <laughs> what? I'm gonna shit my pants. See? Yeah. See? Yep. Well. See? Oh my god. Another arguing over AIDS? Yeah, he said fuck you, and then he gets beat. Oh. He gets kind of brutal. Oh my god. Come on, Tommy. Big one too. Yeah, the kid. The kid has some training. And that's it. <laughs> if it's not embarrassed enough, you're wearing overalls. You get knocked out in overalls. This is the worst fight. Like, I, I actually, terrible. I blame. You know who I blame in this? The girl. Orange jacket guy. Oh, I thought you were gonna blame me. Yeah, <laughs> Nick. But I blame orange jacket guy. Like orange jacket guy. Like don't engage in this. Yeah, you gotta know. You know what I mean? You gotta be. Someone's gotta be the adult here. And who's this who's buddy in the truck with his shirt off? And who's the naked guy in the truck? The guy in the truck was What's probably that about, sucking dude? him off. But yeah. It, it really looked like that. At one point, I swear to God, it looked like he was. Is this some kind of truck? Like There's some sort of maybe that guy in the truck's a lot lizard, right? Making a good earning, and then <laughs> homeboy comes in the overalls, causing a ruckus. Maybe he stole his John. Oh, there you go. Lot yeah. lizard fights are great. <laughs> this is... And was this in Ireland, like Dublin or something? Because it, be it started off with an Irish accent and got real uh, white trash. Yeah. He's like, "Fuck you, man! I ain't got no AIDS." Yeah. Black Lion Golden Hour Crew. My name's Shay, and yes, I own a donut shop in England. Nice. So, <laughs> okay. I've got a gold or mold, gold it or mold it for you here. Okay. So basically, there was um, this is British Nick. <laughs> there was this streamer, and he got caught watching deep fake porn of two other Twitch streamers, both pretty nice, but um. Yeah, like, gold it or mold it, fucking deep fake porn. How would you feel about coming across a video of you on the interweb? Hell yeah. Peace, bros. I love you all. But it's not Cheers, It's not man. you. That doesn't bother me. It's stupid. Who cares? It's not actually you. Until people think it's real because the internet's stupid. Yeah, but the, the, the internet... Is always saying things that aren't true. Yeah, they're always saying, doing, and making things. What happened? This guy got, he got. So he's a, twi a popular Twitch streamer, and someone screenshotted when he like showed all his tabs, and okay. one of his tabs oh. open was deep fake porn of two other popular streamers, oh. one of whom I guess he actually lives with. So that made it weirder. Oh, oh. and then this I is swear. this is like <clears throat> this has ninety three million views. It it. And that's his Does? wife, and he did his apology. She's all. With She's her in sitting the behind him. <laughs> dream to, like, create a pattern of behavior where I really want, especially women on Twitch, to feel safer. Like, I, I, we call fucking booba spam cringe. We don't do that there. I've never made, like, a fucking weird, I don't know, seat sniffing joke. I've never done anything like that. I've never done anything like that on this stream. You just and apologize for watching porn? tolerating sex behavior in the chat. We, we ban it on site. And uh, 
And like I've done this consistently over and over and over. And then fucking at 2 a.m., you know, I've been I've been watching so much fucking I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff. I'm reading all this fucking stuff about AI and and uh and fucking defake music, defake art and everything. And I'm in these fucking discords. And I was I just feel so embarrassing to me. But I was on fucking Pornhub, dude. I was on a fucking regular ass normal fucking website, and there was an ad. There's an ad on every fucking video for this fucking... So I know other people must be clicking it because it's on every fucking video. Everyone else doing it. For fucking defect thing. And then I streamed to like... Yeah, so he tried to say he did it once and then people dug into it somehow and the company like released. Like he was actually paying for more <sighs> deepfakes and shit. Uh, oh, wow. So then he put out a written apology. But streaming streaming world's weird. So he yeah. was... <laughs> yes, it is. He's watching his... <laughs> yes, yeah, apparently. And it's Harry massive. 93, 93 million views. <laughs> so, well, I mean... We're not doing something right here. So, hold on. <laughs> I don't think he got in trouble for watching porn. Okay? Right. I don't think that's no. the issue. It's not for watching porn. It was his friends It's the fact that he was watching... It would be like... It'd be like if my tab opened up and it was like, you know, Brendan, Sh you know, it's like Brendan power fucks Chris D'Elia. You know what I mean? But yeah, but that'd be hilarious. Yeah, I'd be like, dude, that's <laughs> hilarious. Like, dude, Why that would was... you send well, me that? We would laugh. What yeah, I'm yeah. saying, it, it's like an uncomfortable, it's like, uh, you know, if it's like. Yeah, I get it. I'm paying Brendan, for that. <laughs> Brendan power fucks. <laughs> and it's like, that's the tab opens up. Brendan balls deep in Chris D'Elia. <laughs> Right. Dude, I'd you know love I mean? that. But, I mean, but it's like, I can see that being uncomfortable <laughs> for if like... To know, be crying like this? If you're... Well, he's I mean, not a comedian. His wife is like... No. Oh, yeah. and, and, and he's got a wife, so she wants him to be, you know... Yeah, I don't, I don't I, Hey, you know, the, I, so, I would need to know like more about. I, I really feel that I don't. There really has to be more that, to the story. I don't yeah. really feel that it's about necessarily the porn so much as about the subject of the porn. Yeah, yeah, it's the deep fake people that he lives yeah. with, and yeah. they're fucking each other, and he's paying to watch them do it. Yeah, and then every time he sees them, he's thinking, "We're not seeing you guys." Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean. It makes it weird. Yeah, the thing gets deep. I that think. fucking it, chat it GPT shit is <laughs> so weird. I just think the the part that there's a lot of backlash about it's the women who are being faked that are being taken advantage of. What about the guys? And they're the ones that feel violated somehow. Oh, I get that. That, that. there's videos. Oh, wow, across, not, it's not a woman man thing though. Across the board, like it wouldn't be cool if it was a deep fake of Nick fucking Chin. You know what I'm saying? And you guys, <laughs> yeah, and it goes viral and 100 million views. Awesome. Like what the fuck? No, oh, dude. Yeah. Fight, <laughs> fight, fight. Hold on. It's hold all on. chin sucks, Nick's pie. No, why is it to be me getting fucked? <laughs> me sucking. Hold well, on. Because, no. I mean, hold either on. way, you wouldn't like it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't like so it. So, what chin is saying, if they were going to have sex, he wants to be the power. You're There's the no one getting Nick pounded. Get me to do anything, no. If anyone had to get someone to do something, <laughs> it would be me. Well, that's up to the internet. Yeah. Hold on. Well, we should put but, a poll. Up. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So and you're poll, saying I think a poll should be. And by up. poll, we mean we mean Nick's poll in a your poll. mouth. Hey, no, dude. <laughs> so you're saying a deep fake porn? It's it, it's so we all know it's not the actual person doing it. It's yeah. it's it's. But what is it? It's like their face on another person's yeah, body. Yes, yes, then yes. who cares? It's not their even body. <laughs> they care because they're saying, like you know, uh, this is just about. I don't know. I don't know anything about. I think it. it's about over sexualization of women, uh -huh. right? So then you have these streamers, and it's very slippery slope. I feel like because mm -hmm. some of the like the girls who are popular streamers, they're all know, taking their clothes off. They're taking advantage of yeah. the fact that they are attractive. They're playing yeah. Call of Duty with their tits out. Yeah, like, yeah how or they're doing hot tub streams yeah. or whatever it is like that. So I get, so I get it, but it's like, you know, that doesn't mean that. I don't, no, it doesn't a, mean that you should. No. Yeah, of course, yeah. I understand yeah, that. That's yeah. what I think that it's about. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. more. It's more so that's what I'm way. saying. It's very nuanced why he's upset there. And, you know, he's got his wife there. You know, she's crying. It's just kind of like. I think there's more to that story. 94 million views? I just, I'm just <laughs> looking at the views. Yeah. I, I didn't even know the there were that many views to be had. I didn't know there were that many people. No, Twitch is way bigger than anything comedians do. It's Whoa. crazy. Really? Yeah, this guy's like ninja. And why, don't you guys. Play, why don't you play video games on Hot I'm playing. Uh, that's, nobody cares. Doing about. a Hot Nobody tub. wants to see a deep fake of me. You'd be, you'd be surprised. These guys are making like $500,000 a month, man. These, these some of these streams, bro. I, I met a They're kid. I met a kid yesterday. A month. I met a kid yesterday. I'm starting to work with. He he makes over a million a month doing Snapchat. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Snapchat's another one. That's and I, I went. Right now. I went. Is that like OnlyFans subscribe? They use no, no. Snapchat, by the way, what Snapchat. the fuck is what the fuck is the Instagram subscription? Do you do that? I tried. I what think is I have it? One subscriber. <laughs> so and what do they do? They pay monthly. Yeah, it's like Patreon. 
Yeah, exactly. Huh. This, but but every, now Twitter's every, making it every so you can make money. Twitter should yeah. be the highest paid one now. Because are you seeing a lot of people like now offering yeah. subscription? The reason that comes up, like even in like people got a notification that I was. Yeah, because you were. They will pay you for reels only twelve hundred dollars a month, so you you probably won't do that. Uh-huh. But to access that, I had to turn uh, on that subscription. So I'm not it, offering anything, but I just wanted. to. But here's the paid. thing: if you have over a certain amount of followers, they don't offer it. Like I, I I'm not up for it. Oh, I'm wow. over a million followers. Yeah, that's what I heard. Okay, I, it is just to get. And I don't know how they get. I don't know how they they they're lying. Twelve hundred dollars a month. I mean, it's like it, they start to look at your thing and go, "All right, well, if you have a because like on my reels, I have to get eighty four million views to make <laughs> to make eighty five hundred dollars. Wow. How much they're making off of it? You know what I mean? That's what I have to get. So it's like I don't know why I got into this. You yeah. still get paid like a few hundred a month, though, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I get like $130, yeah, yeah. $150 a month from my reels. Yeah, yeah. That's like, what? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Instagram is weird, though. They fucking want, I mean, everyone's doing TikTok now, right? Yeah. Like, isn't that the thing? So it's like, I don't know how TikTok monetizes. That's right. why they're paying lower level creators, Instagram. Yeah. Because they want just more shit on there. There's not uh, enough to watch. So, oh. but people are already big. You're already using it, so they don't have to incentivize oh. you. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And it's working. I'm posting just bull. I'm ripping YouTube highlight clips of athletes just to get paid. Oh wow! <laughs> Nick's out here hustling. <laughs> Super hustling. <laughs> He's a hustler, baby. Wow. I don't know. Uh, it's funny that uh, you brought up the scenario about you guys because this guy actually sent in two versions, and I, I played the. So. Let me hit you with a little scenario. I was on Pornhub the other day and I came across this video of Delia bending Eric over <laughs> and absolutely smashing him on from the back doors. Absolutely while Sean was in the corner, smashing. dunking one off. Right? Wow. Dunking one off? I used the more PG one yeah. and then you Dunking one off. So I'm at a fire put it to you like this. So I'm watching Pornhub and yeah. Chris and Leah was out there smashing Eric one and uh, Brennan's just Dunkin' one off. <laughs> and this guy Dunkin owns a donut shop. Yeah, and, yeah Dunkin'. <laughs> hey, and nobody's in there. <laughs> nobody's buying like, donuts. That's the part that gives me the... Yeah. That's the part that I'm yeah. really like, how the fuck do you own a donut shop? Don't that's who, one off. That's who owns a donut shop. I guess. Dude, and then fucking, he swings the camera around, people are going like this. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I don't know. Deep fakes and all that kind of stuff. It, it well, that, the, the, let me put it this way. That's going to get... Way worse. Mm-hmm. It's going to get way worse. There's going to be, there's going to have to be some sort of laws around it. I mean, that's one of those things that just like, you get the president Name saying like shit. This. You get the, yeah. Like, yeah. It's one of them yeah. are funny. You know, that one of, uh, the one of Obama where he's like, does a speech. Yeah. And then he drops the mic. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, you it's a deep fake? The yeah. Deep yeah, fakes, yeah. yeah. throws this stuff in the air and then drops the mic. You go, why would the president do that? <laughs> yeah. You know, but it's like, that's the thing. So it's like, yeah, you're Drunk right. Drunk one off. The, the technology is moving faster than... Mm. Than the laws, yeah, by far, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's like the uh, they, I was watching this thing on the synthetic drugs, like they, it's too drugs are legal. There's so many legal drugs that should be illegal because they'll by the time they they make the law about it, they change one part of the compound in the drug, and that makes just it legal. to stay ahead of them exactly. Yeah, so it's like you could sell them at gas stations and shit. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just like when you put like a. One of those AirPod things, air tracker things, and like on your car mm-hmm. or something like mm-hmm. that. Uh-huh. Then your car gets stolen, mm-hmm. you know, and then you see where it is. Mm-hmm. The cops won't do anything. Why? Because they need a warrant. That they, they, this isn't. Oh right, got you. It yeah. isn't like oh, it, that yeah. should be the thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, well, here's I know. My, right, right, but right. But the law. My, isn't my, my for boy's you. bike got stolen. You got to go over there like taken. Like I need my car. Yeah. 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 You got to knock on the door like, hey, yeah. I see you got my shit. Yeah. You know, but I it's have like, one of those air tags in my anus, so I always know where I am. Oh, I like that. Dunkin' one off. You like it. You like that joke. You like it. <laughs> I didn't. You like it. <laughs> I did it. You'll like it. You'll get it later. You'll be in the car. You'll be like, what's this, Nick? <laughs> Someone reason. sent this in. Uh, Brendan confused Tropic Thunder, the movie, with the store hot topic. This was from a couple of oh, years ago. Oh, wow. We got to see this. I was yeah. telling uh, a couple of kids stealing some stuff at Tropic Thunder. Oh, yeah. Like, what? What? <laughs> oh, I've amazing. done that before. I think you've done it on it Golden Hour. Yeah. He did it. it he did it on Golden Hour, but this way he did it switch. He was trying to wrap yes. the hot topic, yep. and he called it I Tropic Thunder. Thunder. <laughs> no, but, on this show. Yeah, on on the other trying, one. On this show, he was talking about Tropic Thunder. Called I said Hot, hot topic. topic. Yes, I remember <laughs> that. Wow. Hey, CT dude. is real, bro. Kids stealing some stuff at 
Tropic Thunder. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Feel that? Call it Hot Topic. I call it Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Tropic Thunder. Hot Topic. Caught it myself. <laughs> Don't yes, caught it myself. Do Don't do that. <laughs> caught it myself. That's fine. Don't. Now you didn't catch yourself here at Golden Hour. We no, no, it. you guys caught me. Want you to not do that anymore. Switch it back and forth. Yeah, it, you know what it topic is. Center, hot topic. It's, it's just it's, hot topic. Topic center. It's not even another movie. Your community. No, you're it's a store. It it's a fucking with store. a movie, a comedy movie. Hey guys, Alex here. I'm from uh, Adelaide, South Australia, but Been currently there. I live in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Been there. Let's go Steelers. Me too. I have a sort of a debate club or discussion club or whatever. Um, back home in Australia, if you get caught driving on your mobile phone, the fines are out of control. Um, I personally do not touch my phone when I'm driving, but here, since I've been here, every motherfucker while driving is on their fucking phone. Even the cops. It'll be pissing down with rain. 70 miles an hour on the highway dudes fucking on their phone in their hand driving like absolute maniacs like what is what is so important that that you've got to be constantly on your phone while you're driving TikTok. i don't know man and you i mean you guys take submissions of people you know recording themselves while driving like yeah. so <laughs> dangerous yeah. anyway Fair. i don't know why what what you guys have so so important over here maybe you can shed some light on it um gang gang buzz buzz so whoa, whoa, whoa. It's uh yeah addiction. well it's an it's addiction, addiction yeah. yeah it's not it, yeah I mean they they're trying to make you addicted to the phone it's like the same thing the cigarette companies were Correct. doing with the fucking I I, well, I it just worked yeah no it worked yeah, yeah, yeah it worked. nobody's arguing that but it's just you're not doing it because oh this is so important you're doing it because you're addicted and right. way, it's not going to get any better because the car technology is getting better right so now you know you're, you're yeah. Tesla you're just yeah. like you know yeah 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 I know you, like, you know, I, even my car even the the, the I pace Cisco? it keeps it in the uh, the lane oh the Jaguar mm -hmm. and then you know you get an alert when you're about to so you know yeah just kind of like. My car just keeps, you know. Yep. <laughs> it drives me nuts. It's it's triggering for me. What is? If I see somebody on their phone, I'm the car. I'm in the car with my kids. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I will fight you, dude. Yeah. yeah it's it's, it's, it's all, nuts. It is. Yeah. Autonomous like, what, what are you scrolling Twitter? We have thirty followers. Get the fuck off yeah, your phone. It's weird. In the four hundred five, mm. going eighty miles an hour. To get not, a tweet. I mean, I've, actually, not, I've actually, yeah, I've I, I've done. What's the worst thing you've done while driving on your phone? Oh. I've sent emails and shit, like long emails. That's, hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. that's what I'm saying. I've purchased that was shit my kids on in the car. Oh wow, that's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've actually this. I've actually like had to buy something, so I was went to the yeah, website, yeah, yeah. pulled out my wallet, <laughs> <laughs> scanned the credit card, insert enter the, my credit card information. Day. <laughs> Dude, I'm entering my credit really? card information and shit. You know, while driving, so Jesus, that's man. the worst. But you got to stop. Everybody out there, please pull over and send buying? us videos. Yeah, I don't you even buy? remember a what Hulk it was. Figurine, yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hulk figurine, some fucking wet wipes. Yeah, <laughs> this T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, but you don't on your. You can uh, do it so uh, text messages don't pop up on your car. Yeah. Yeah. You can turn that off. Where it's like car mode. Where I know, it can still but play but you can hit it and they tell you. So I hit the it and they talk that, talk it out. But here, but I hate that. Why? But here's the problem. No, with I don't that. want any notifications while I'm driving. Okay. No, but here's the thing with that. When you I mean, don't you can't even say fucking Tropic Thunder, right? So I get that. Yeah, yeah. But when you don't get the notifications, then you want to check your phone to see if you got any notifications. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's a real addiction. Yeah, that's like a, a real addiction. That's the yeah. problem. You know what I mean? I don't you know, have that like, problem yet. At least if you saw the things, you'd be like, ooh, I can't wait to get home. Remember remember like when my remember when MySpace first came out? Mm-hmm. There would be something about that red notification oh, man. that would make you be like, oh, 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 yeah. oh I can't wait to see what that's that, when it know. started for me. Yeah. yeah, like just oh man, somebody wants to talk. Yeah, so it's <laughs> like, somebody wants to say some shit. Yeah, so, so then it's like, what's up? So it's weird now. Now there's like so Please, many. Just you talking about? It. Look, man, I'm checking his phone. So Look at these different. fucking idiots. What? I'm just looking. He is addicted. Early results. Oh, people want chin on top. That anyway. just says more about. It's up to the internet. The internet, yeah. the deep fakers are going to deep fake. 59%. That's a pretty good percentage. Think, say, say he be yeah. Shin is a so, bigger man than you, yeah. is what they're saying. Mm. Well, they just want to see <laughs> Nick take it. They just want to see Nick get punished. Shin's personality. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to see Chin on the bottom because he wouldn't. That would bump me out. Yeah, because he, cause he would just guy on the bottom. Because he wouldn't be enjoying it. You know, Chin would just be like. Yeah. Straight face like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'd be like this. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Are you even in me, Nick? <laughs> Here, look. This is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Shout to Seattle and Griffin. <laughs> yeah. Zoom way in. It is him, dude. No, it's not. Okay. Thank you. It's the Mexican version. Yeah. No, it's him. 
He, That's in Seattle with your son. Yeah, he, is that where they throw the fish? Yeah, the Pikes Market. Oh, they, they throw the shit out that thing, man. It, and it's stre- did you catch one? No. It's stressful. Everyone's watching. Oh all, no, no, no! And they're they all slippery. Oh. You could catch it. Yeah, they asked me did to do, do it. it? We're famous. Did you see what? the did you do it? Yeah. in China? Ew. It's so slippery. Yeah, it's a fish, bro. Ar- <laughs> I love fish. You just Google orangutan right? throws water. I, gave him, I caught him. Went, I caught him. Went, <laughs> try to get him out the mouth. Oh god! I went, we oh. cut his insides out. I went, all right. Nah, they tried to get me to be like, hey, get a fish, and I'm like, nah. No, they didn't. Yeah, they, they did. That's what they're doing right now. Because in, in, his in that room, screen, it'll be like jacket, shoes, a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Merch. Yeah, him. <laughs> it's stressful because I mean, everyone's watching and they're like so yeah, slippery I'm not doing and big. That. You're like, oh, like catch fuck. a fish. No. Oh, it's so much fun. You do it, right? No. No, I don't want to smell like fucking fish all day. Okay. You do anyway, well, right? Seattle's because had a lot of weird places. Like I was in Seattle and I went to this bar <clears> to get a hamburger. And you know, we're, I'm sitting there, and there's one of these places where they, it's like dicks. They're trying to be yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, the guy was like. Excuse me, can I get some? And the guy was like, "You don't hail us in here, you know." You're like, "Oh, is this, to take is this, this fucking yeah. burger?" And you know what I mean? And yeah. just go to his face and be like, "Fuck you!" Yeah. But, but they're like, "Oh, you're really playing a part, dude." Yeah, man, it's just too much. It's those weird. Don't, woke don't white make it. Don't make it be like falling oh, check down. Check this out, guys. Okay. Girl throws a water bottle into a gorilla sanctuary. Okay. Okay, she, and she's filming. Okay. And look okay. what happens. Gorilla drinks it. She's definitely gonna get escorted off the property, look, look, right? Look, look, look. Of course, yeah. He gets it back. He said, "Dumb bitch!" Hit, <laughs> aims right at her. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> he hit her in the face. Yeah. Oh, it was there wasn't like glass. No. Gangster. <laughs> Chimpanzee with water bottle and the chimp hits back. Bro, that's a hilarious. A plastic water bottle into a chimpanzee's enclosure. <laughs> hit that bitch right in the face. Strike back. <laughs> Security footage shows a man throwing a plastic bottle toward a chimp at Changsha Ecological Zoo in southern China on Sunday. News uh-huh. Flare reported. Was Dude. the chimpanzee known as Do You Not Crossing noticed it in his habitat? He grabbed the bottle and started banging it on the ground. And threw it back into the crowd of tourists. That's the way he did it was so dope too. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, do it, yeah, it again. Is that Patrick Mahomes? Yeah. It's like the sidearm and that, the lead. That's so dope. Look at the way it fucking. Yaga. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> Keep this I mean, shit out of my why face. Why did they put the a red circle around the so see gorilla? It, <laughs> it's the only thing in frame. Yeah. Wow, that was d- all good camera work too. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. RoboCop. <laughs> like we know. <laughs> Rub them. What are you laughing at? <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's you, because it's just like <laughs> that was his problem. You with always the video. talk about what I notice. You know? <laughs> How do you not notice? It's a fucking one. It's about one thing. <laughs> it's the only thing in frame. <laughs> <laughs> as if we, as if we were gonna be like, where's the gorilla? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you play it without that. I'd be like, what happened? I don't get it. <laughs> like, that's pretty. Well, how, how many views does that have? That's pretty gangster, dude. Uh, there's a bunch of that, different this one ones. Only has yeah, 30, got it. No, but wow, there's a bunch. That's all on Instagram. You need to that. Honestly, that gorilla needs to be in the fucking NFL. You need to play for the Denver Broncos. It's the next saw, John uh, Elway right there. Already, already ain't having it. Yeah, he's already not having Did it. Did you see the question today? They're talking about it on first take because uh, yeah, yeah. Channel Four was like, "Hey, so uh, uh, Russell has his own." Uh, Quarterback coach who's not part of the staff, but he really needs him. He goes, yeah, Sean Payne was he like, goes that's nope. news to me. Not anymore. Yeah, nope. Nope. Not going to happen on these parts, son. Nope. Can't have extra parking spots. You don't get your own office. I don't know what the fuck you guys are talking about. <laughs> well, where's the poll at now? I want to know if it's still. <laughs> Did it reach a straight 60? Is it 60 40 by now? Uh, it's moving towards Chan. It's 67% Chan. Uh, oh, it's wow. Like, <laughs> People want to see you guys I smash. I, my favorite part is Chin is. Legit proud. <laughs> I told you I'm not going to take it from him. No, no. no. The people, no, the people, and the it. people have spoken. Yeah, spoken. He's not going to have a choice. <laughs> yeah. He's going to bed tonight. He's just like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah, I knew I'd win that. Yeah, he's going to be like, yeah. Also, you don't want Nick on top. He'd no. be fixing the cameras, getting out of your <laughs> anus. Like, hold on. Give me a second here. Yeah, it's never set up right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's it. All right, cool. All right, kids. Thanks, Naples. Guys. I'll see you guys next week, next Thursday, Tom. Friday, Saturday. Oh. Naples. Comedy off the hook. Then one night in Bakersfield. That's a Thursday night. One show only. That thing's almost sold out. And then one night in Brea. That's March 3rd, I think, because March 4th, I have a companion here at Thick Boy Studios for John Jones' return. But March 3rd is Brea. Two shows. Get your tickets. Uh, thickboy.com. New Naples, York, Europe. New York, New York, February 18th. New York, New York, Rhode Island before that. New York, New York, February 18th. Uh, New York, Kansas, New York, sorry. tomorrow. Kansas City. <laughs> Kansas City, baby. I'm coming. 
Here we go, dude. Utah. Let's go. ChrisLee.com. Bell go. House tomorrow night, New York. If you're in New York, you're watching this, come see me. I'm nice. hilarious. All right, kids. Love you. Stay golden. <laughs>